In this video, I wanna explain how the Hendrickson Tire Max Pro inflation system works. I'm using one of the tanker trailers because it's a lot easier for me to get under here and show you, whereas like my dry vans climbing under there, not so easy. But it's the same. If you have this system on a tanker, a dry van, a flatbed, a low boy, whatever it is, it's the exact same system regardless of what type of trailer it is. So first thing to cover here is tire inflation systems do not mean that you never have to check your tires again. Okay, there's systems that can fail, but they're an excellent backup, they're an excellent resource to help you mitigate having tire issues. So what are some things that you should know about this system? Let's first talk about the white light. This one's mounted here on the fender. It, on lots of trailers like dry vans, it's usually mounted up on the front, right in the corner, kind of like our reefer light. So find out where your white light is. But the white light, its purpose is to let you know when this system is moving air. If that white light's on, it means it's airing up tires. Now, with the Tire Max Pro, it also will deflate in case it got overpressured. So like if you're going over bumps and things like that, and it's squishing your tires, it's pretty common to see this light come on for a minute. Don't be concerned about that. What you wanna pay attention to is when this light comes on for a long period of time, it means that that system is pushing air into one of your tires and that you might have a leak somewhere. So that's what you need to know about the white light. Next thing to know is this system won't start doing its thing until it has 100 PSI. So if you just hooked up to a trailer and you know you have a low tire, well, be patient. It's got to get to 100 PSI in your truck. And also, this system takes about one minute to do one PSI. So if you've got a really low tire, you're going to have to wait a little while. It takes some time to fill up a low tire. Next thing to know about these airlines. Here you have these airlines. This is how it gets to the tire. It comes through the hub goes into your tire. Airlines can go bad, so just be aware of that. If you get a tire changed out on the road, these are supposed to be finger tight. They have O-rings in there. You don't need to crank them down really hard, just finger tight, and that should stop it from leaking. If it's still leaking, just, I mean, the tiniest turn with the wrench if you absolutely have to, or with pliers, I mean. Also, if you're ever wanting to double check your system, because like I said, these aren't perfect, you can actually check it without removing all this stuff. What you do is you unscrew this guy right here from the hub and it's got a stem. And you just stick your tire gauge on it and boom, you can find out what your system is actually charged to. That way you can tell the mechanics if it needs to be adjusted. Um, some other things to know about this. What if one of these airlines somehow got caught and it started leaking air and then you got an air leak? Or what if one of the airlines under the trailer that's for the tire system like this guy got cut? Well, now you've got a bad air leak. Well, easy enough is this valve right here. That little handle, system is off now, it'll stop leaking. It might take a minute because it's got to drain all the air that's running through the system, but if that ever happens, or if you get a blowout, lots of times people say, I blew out a tire, now I have an air leak. Well, usually it's the system is trying to fill up your tire that has a hole in it. So come and shut this off until you get your tire repaired, okay? Super easy, super great systems, just make sure that you check up on them and that you know how they work because they're great to have, but we want to make sure they're working right all the time so you know that your tires are good most of the time. Hope that I helps. hope you found this video really helpful. If you want to, click right down in here. This is the subscribe button. That'll give you more of our helpful videos. And then after that, come over here and click here for more of our videos. Remember, truck drivers are American heroes. Let's make truck drivers great again and keep on trucking.